Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for this video to celebrate Women's History Month. Today, I'm talking with Clarice Phelps. Clarice has a fascinating story. In fact, she helped discover New Element. But before we get to that, Clarice, can you tell us about yourself, please? Yeah, so I was originally born in Minneapolis, Minnesota and moved down to Nashville, Tennessee when I was six. Uh, my mom had us four girls. We grew up in the Edge Hill community and we all went to college and graduated. I went to Tennessee State University and received my bachelor's in chemistry. After that, I went into the Navy. So I served as a um, Navy nuke on board an aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan. So after I got out of the Navy, I actually applied uh, for a technician position at Oak Ridge National Lab, and I got a call back the same day that I had submitted my application. How long have you been at the lab? I have been at the lab this year will make 15 years. And one of the most exciting things while you were there is you got to work on the discovery of a new element. Yes, yeah, so that was, um, I had only been there for about two years at that time, and I was uh, I transferred from being an operations technician to more of like a research and development technician. And so we were tasked with purifying um, an isotope of berkelium, which was used as like the target material for the confirmation of element 117. Okay, so to the layperson like me, I didn't realize we would discover new elements. When we think of the periodic table and it's static and those are all the elements. I mean, what was that process like? It's gotta be super exciting, right? Yeah, it was. I mean, once we uh, got the confirmation that it was confirmed, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, the, the little squares on the periodic table, we helped put that there. And so I just remember back when I was in high school and in my chemistry class, I had a great chemistry teacher and I would look at all those empty squares. There were a lot of empty squares at the time. And now we've filled in that whole bottom row. And I just thought it was like a full circle moment where um, you wonder like, how are they gonna fill those squares? And then you become part of it. How did you become part of that team? That discovered Tennessean. So uh, we were, uh, you know, we were tasked with uh, purifying the berkelium, and our job it took us about three months of, you know, um, setting everything up, practicing, and doing the actual separations process. And so myself and um, my two other colleagues at the time, we were tasked with doing um, like the the fine separation of the berkelium from um, some of its neighbors, like californium, um, curium, einsteinium, and fermium. So we had to separate all of those. Um, EMS <laughs> isotopes away from the berkelium so that we could purify it. I think I just said Tennessean, but it's actually Tennessean. Where is that name derived from? Uh, so people ask, you know, why is it Tennessee? Why is it not anything else? Because there were three major institutions that were involved with the discovery and the confirmation of the discovery. And so that would be Oak Ridge National Laboratory, uh, Vanderbilt University, and University of Tennessee in Knoxville right here. And you're currently still at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, yeah. correct? Yes, correct. I still work at the lab. And now you're working on your PhD, correct? Yes, I am working on my uh, doctorate in nuclear engineering. Uh, so I, I don't know if I'm crazy or, <laughs> or not, but hopefully um, we will be done with that in, in a couple of years. But yeah, that's an, it's an exciting time and something that um, I didn't know that I wanted, but the more that I learn about nuclear and, and in the field, the more that I want to um, be an expert in that field. Well, you're the first person that I've ever met <laughs> that has helped discover new element. So what's next? Oh, what's next? Gosh, there is lots of research to be done. Uh, right now, um, you know, just focusing and working on the research that I'm doing to earn my doctorate. Uh, and then I also want to continue to um, bring science to um, our underserved communities. I want to make sure that everyone is, uh, has access to the same type of things um, and the same experiences that I was able to have and even you know exponentially better and to get um, you know young kids interested in this line of work because um, with the, the aging workforce we need people who are excited about science to come in and, and, and do the things and to discover the things that we haven't. Well, Clarice, thank you so very much for sitting down with me today. And just keep it up. You're a great role model for 
girls and young women, especially young women of color, who might want to get into science. And I think it's, it is very important for folks to understand that um, people like them are working in these fields yes. and making a huge impact. On yes, them. yes. Thank you so much for having me.